everyone, how's it going? Brandon here. I just wanted to let you know that I'm driving out to my Kominka in Toyosaka. Haven't been out here for several weeks between being sick, going to the hospital, and attending classes. I wasn't able to come out to the house for basically a couple of months earlier this year. Right now, I am in Sera Town, S-E-R-A, Sera. According to my map, 25 minutes to my house. The weather's not that great, so I'm not sure exactly what all I'm gonna be able to shoot. But since it has rained a lot recently, I did wanna kinda check out the water situation at the house just to see how the drainage is going and share that with you, which I'll do in, you know, later in this video after I get back home and get it edited. But I also wanted to pick up my mail, maybe grab a few things from the house before I head back to Onomichi. It's a holiday, national holiday here in Japan. I think it's Marine Day. Because it's a national holiday, I have the day off from school. I got up really early this morning and I'm already feeling it. I'm hoping that I have enough juice, enough energy in me, energy, <laughs> to get out here, check out a few things, do a little bit of my Japanese homework, and get back to Onomichi without expending too much. I will give you a quick update. I'm now taking an extra medicine for my cough, powder medicine here at the hospital, the JA hospital in Onomichi. And thankfully it has worked to really suppress my cough, which I'm very, very happy about. That's great, but it has the side effect of constipation <laughs> and nobody wants that. It has worked but it has also caused me some, uh, let's just say some digestive issues. Continue so it's been, three kilometers. okay. So it has given me a bit of a challenge to get over, but since the, the cancer medication seems to be helping my kidney and there's been some improvement there I'm very happy about, plus the cough medicine seems to be helping. It's put me in a better mood and giving me a little bit more energy. And I do believe that I have some opportunities coming up to do some online teaching. A couple of people contacted me about doing some classes online. And I believe that's gonna work out. And then I have also the, the visit with the pension office. Recently, I discovered that the city came out to my house and dug some trenches and put in some drainage and done a, a lot of work to fix the, the landslide area and all of that. And, um, it's supposed to fix that water that's been coming in to the to the back area of my house and flowing into my backyard. And because of that, I'm very interested to see what it looks like after all this rain. And it's still raining right now, so I'm thinking that when I get out there, I should have a good idea of just how much that, that new, that new uh, development is able to keep the water out of my backyard. I'm glad that it's it's raining and that it has been raining consistently for the past several days. I think it should give me an idea of just how effective it is. It looks like I'm about 12 minutes from the house right now. So, see you in a bit. I just made it out to the house and it appears that the, the rain is coming down a little harder here than it has been on my drive out here. So, I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to be able to shoot. Man, I've got too much fat down here. I need to tighten that up. There's too much rain for me to shoot too much outside the house, but I will definitely go around and check out the drainage behind the house, grab my mail, check out a couple of other things. We'll just shoot a little bit inside and I'll share that with you. I'll try to get some good footage and we'll see what's going on. All right, everyone. <laughs> It appears that I've been able to figure out a way to use my cordless mic with my gimbal at the same time. And I'm going to share a picture on the community tab so you can see what it looks like. But essentially what I did was I flipped my camera around and then I made the gimbal turn all the way around 180 degrees to point the opposite direction. That way I could use my um, wireless microphone connection while simultaneously using the gimbal, something I haven't been able to do before. So it's kind of a um, 
just a way I, I was able to figure out how to use it. And hopefully it works out really well because when I'm making any videos, whether it's a video for this channel or if it's a walk around or an event or somewhere else, I really need to be able to use the gimbal because it's just so much steadier. And now that I, I'm able to use the microphone and the gimbal at the same time, I'm going to just do a non-live video and do a walk around. I've got my video camera set to widescreen so we can get the biggest possible angles that are available and just give you a, a really the best possible idea of what it's like out here at my house in Toyosaka. <clears throat> now, as I said before, I haven't been out here in a few weeks. And before that, it had been a couple of months, essentially because of my health and not being able to financially get anyone to come out here and, um, and it just being busy with school, all of those things just kept me from being able to come out here and cut grass. So as you can see, it's kind of out of control. However, we're going to, we're going to come out here and take a look. And what I'm hoping to see is how well the water is staying out of the yard. <clears throat> yeah, the grass has come up a lot out here. Try to. It's a little tricky now that I got the, the camera turned around on the gimbal. The controls are kind of backwards. But I'm sure I'll get used to it. I'll just. I guess I'll just keep shooting like this permanently from now on. Yep. Man, all of that grass and everything that I cut out here, especially up on the wall, it's it's sad that all of that is is growing back up so much, but at the same time it can't really be helped. There's nothing I can do about it. It's actually an improvement that I can just come out here at all like this. I just haven't I haven't been up to being able to do much of anything for quite a while. Well, something something was just over here and went into the grass. Oh, it's a frog, big frog. There's the there's my little pond right here. Some grass is starting to grow in the pond now. And you can see it's really starting to reclaim all the rocks. It's it's basically, the grass has basically covered up all the rocks and all the grass that was cut here before. Um, very disappointing to see that. But once again, there's not much I can do about that right now, unfortunately. Now, this right here, let me let me move the camera down as much as I can so you can see. This area here, whoops. Oh, now the camera's starting to, or the gimbal's starting to go a little wacky. Let me move it back around. There we go. I don't know what was going on there. It's it was acting strange, but the water that I attempted to plug up right here is still uh, the, yeah the gimbal's getting all funky and stuff it's it's giving me uh, some trouble as I try to look down but basically the water is still coming out down here and going under the house and that is a, a big problem so that needs to be that needs to be remedied and uh, there is <clears throat> a little bit of water here in the back and of course that needs to be that needs to be better than that it's it, it shouldn't be quite this wet but i'm guessing because all of this is not cut that's what's causing this water to be here but one of the main things i'm interested in is over here <laughs> yeah the gimbal is really getting funky because i've got it turned all the way around Here I am. Hello. If I try to go the, the other way, that's as far as it will go. Let's try this. 
We'll do this. Okay, this is strange, but... Yeah, the gimbal is having issues with it being turned completely around, but no big deal. I'll, I'll do what I can. This was, this area back here around the, 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 the back and the side of the guest house Kura and right here in the back of the yard behind the house, this main area right here was just really filling up with water and becoming like a, a pond. And this is one of the main areas I was curious to find out if, if the, the water that's been draining in from the, that little pond up there, the real pond, the, the drainage that they put over on the side and over on the other side, if it's really doing a good job of keeping that water out of the yard. And if you look, I'm sorry, if you look down, you'll see where the, the rain and the water is, is getting wet up onto the concrete here. Um, I'm not sure if that's just from the, I don't see water, standing water out here, so maybe this is just from the, the rain being blown over. It looks like it because here you can see where this has kind of blocked it. So if the water were coming up onto the concrete and pooled in here, it would probably be wet there too, and it's not. And over here, there is some standing water. Right here, see that? There's some standing water. Um, but once again, because this has become so thick, this has become so thick and grown up so much, I have to wonder how much of this standing water has now been caused by lack of having the grass cut. I'm not really sure. But it, it feels sucky to see all of this grown back up out here considering how much effort it took to cut it down but um i really don't know what to do about it right now <laughs> i mean it's like i said it's an improvement that i'm able to come out here all and and walk around and look at it i mean i've i've just had a, a really difficult time with my health. I've already got my mail. I did get some important documents. Uh, I did get something from the pension office, but I'm not sure yet if I've received what I need from the clinic. However, I do want us to go in here and take a look inside the house. completely quiet in here, as it should be. Got some things that need to be recycled, a lot of bottles, trash bags with bottles, bottles up here that need to be recycled. Hmm. Some bugs flying around. <clears throat> oh, no, they're bug nuts. I was wondering what those were. Oh. In the world is that? Let's see if, if I can get a shot of this. Yeah, the gimbal is going weird again. But I'm gonna try to get try to get a shot of this. What in the world is that?
very strange. This was not here when I came in last time. Some kind of animal did this, but I, I don't know what it is. Very strange. I want to get kind of a closer look at it. See if there's something I can <clears throat> scrape it up with. Got a piece of plastic here. Let's see if I can scrape it. Whatever it is, it's very fresh. Well, it doesn't smell like poo. It just smells like dirt, like mud. But where did it come from? You know, it looks like it kind of came from here and and just trickled over here. But that's weird. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Hmm. I thought maybe at first it came from the, the ceiling. Maybe there was a leak or something up here, but there's nothing. It's all dry above here. So, yeah, you can see there's nothing up here above. It's completely dry, so it's not from there. But it's not just water. I mean, it's it's liquidy, but it's like uh, kind of muddy, too. Very strange. Yeah, my gimbal's having a hard time looking down at the ground. It doesn't do very well looking down at the ground, apparently. So, I guess we'll move on. Very strange. Hmm. It's such a weird thing to be right in the middle of the floor. Everything dry and quiet, which is good. I'm glad that it's, uh, I'm always glad to see that there's no, there's no leaking, no, no water. Even in there in the, the uh, kitchen uh, uh, or workshop, I guess you can call it, which is basically what it is currently. It's completely dry, even the floor and everything in there. That's good. It's good to, good to see. Um, in here is where I've, I've got most of my personal stuff stored and it's all dry and it looks good. Everything in there still, still intact and dry. Well, there's really not much going on in the house other than the strange little puddle of whatever that is in, in the middle of the floor there. So I'm going to close it up if I can. Oh man, it's hard to do with one hand. There we go. Whew. Pretty challenging with uh, one hand. Uh, sometimes I miss the outdoor shower. It was really nice during the summer to take showers out here. But I was thinking about taking the trimmer back to Onomichi to cut the grass around the house, but actually it's not too much. I think I can cut it by hand. I'm not gonna bother. I think it's just uh, it's it's kind of overkill for that little bit of grass there, so I'm just going to use the hand shears. 
but I do have my pomegranate, concentrated pomegranate uh, vinegar, and I'm going to take that back with me. It's still good. There's a little frog down there on the ground. Hey, buddy. Man, too much grass out here. Way too much grass. You can tell by the way the grass and some of these weeds and, and things are laid down that there was some heavy rain out here. And speaking of the heavy rain, we're going to go check the drainage areas. Just going to put this in the van first. <clears throat> Oh. Okay. Let's put that right there. Uh, the first one I want to check out is over on this side where my neighbor's house is. If for some reason they're around or they see me, I'll go say hi and I may shut this off. But I wasn't able to bring uh, omiyage for them this time. I wanted to bring them so something from Onomichi. But, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that. I, so I hate to, I hate to go see them and not bring anything. Okay, so here we are, right next to this, this old shed. Uh, just so you know where we're at, this right here is the Kura that's right next to the house. And this building is next to the Kura. This is another old shed. There's actually kind of a, a water basin inside. And that's, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe, maybe about 10 feet or so deep. So, kind of dangerous uh, what I discovered when I discovered it there, but... This building is not in great shape and eventually will have to come down, but you can see what what they've done here with this trench. It's working like it's supposed to. The water is coming steadily. If you follow it all the way up, it goes all the way out to this pond. I'll walk up there in just a second and we'll take a look. But this water is being diverted from that pond. So all the overflow from that pond is coming down here and flowing out between this old building and the driveway here and keeping it out of my backyard and away from the house. So that's good. Ugh. Let's go up here and take a closer look. I think it's so much easier to see it today now that it's raining. Because there wasn't there there was water coming through it when it wasn't raining, but it wasn't nearly as easy to see as it is now. Yep, so you can see how they cleared it all out down here and trenched it out all the way up there. <clears throat> and this one right here this is coming out uh, from underneath my neighbor's house and there's a that pipe is coming out right there right there okay it's hard for me to see it my uh, hand on the screen because of the gimbal but it's right there and it's going into that and it's and then it it drains out into the rice fields along the other side so let's come up here and get a closer look Yeah, very cool. All right, so there's the back of the house. And if you walk 
up that little ramp right behind the house and come up here you'll you'll come out right right here and they, I don't know if you can see it or not but there is a there's a pipe right there a big pipe I guess that they unearthed when they were digging up this trench and they just tossed it over the side along with all these other rocks and this is the steady water that's coming out from this little embankment here and just where these trees are here right over that embankment is a pond and that's that overflow is coming out here and of course you can see it's now draining straight into here and all the way down past the buildings and off into the rice fields rather than into my backyard so this is making a huge difference no doubt and uh, it's been raining steadily so that's why there's such a strong flow of water <clears throat> this is one side let's see if we can't check out the other side let's drive down there and look that other area i'm not sure exactly how easy it's going to be to access by walking if it's too muddy i might not be able to go out there but what i'm going to do is drive the van around the corner and we'll go down to that area and if it's doable we'll walk up there and take a look and see how the water water is flowing out there all right i'm pretty much done here at the house there wasn't really much to uh, accomplish besides checking the the water and making sure basically you know no major problems have occurred and getting the mail all right i'm not sure exactly who just drove by but it wasn't my neighbor they went to my neighbor's house but i don't think it was uh anybody for me well that was nice the uh, lady that was walking her corgi she she actually comes out and stays at this house sometimes to do some stuff around and she walks her dog she has a little corgi and she walks him around usually the most i can get out of her is just you know like a hello i'll say hello or good morning or something and she'll repeat it back to me but normally she doesn't say too much about me but apparently or uh, she doesn't say too much to me but apparently she's been talking with the the neighbor and she knows about my health condition so she asked me if I was doing okay and how my body was. That was very nice. So uh, I just told her I'm taking some new medicine now, and it's pretty strong. So it's, uh, you know, I'm kind of up and down. I told her I'm I'm so-so. Mama this. And uh, she told me to take care of my body. That was that was nice. But look how much has grown up out here. The The grass is literally scraping the van as I drive by. This is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Let's see. Yeah, this is the area I was talking about, and I'm going to pull up right onto the, the gravel. This is where I want to go. We're just going to park right here, and I'll roll this up a little in case it starts raining again. All right, here we are, the renovated area on the other side of the property. This one goes way back behind my property, and there was a landslide out there that did a lot of, it caused a lot of damage, not just the trees and the land, but it displaced uh, the family grave out here. But um, the, the road, this is the main road that comes through here, and it has grown up so much on both sides that even if I drive in the middle of the road with my van, the, the grass and the weeds are scraping both sides of the van. So this is the kind of stuff I wish that I had the time and the money, the ability to come out here and fix. Because even though I'm not technically responsible for it, it would be nice to trim it and, and get it back and make it look nice. You know, I'd, I'd like for it to all look nice out here. I want this whole area to look nice, but until I, I can get my health back, you know, it's just not really possible well this is interesting let's take a look at this i want to see if you can you can see this 
what we've got going here. I'm not really sure what's going on here. This road leading out to that area, you know, they've got it marked off down here with cones, right? Right, right next to where I parked. <clears throat> but right here, if you look, can you see that? They've, they, they've dug a, a trench right here, it looks like. And I guess this is just to keep out regular cars. I'm sure a big, a big truck or a bulldozer or something would have no problems going over this. But it's just strange that they would dig this out. Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's obviously been scooped out. Maybe with a, a backhoe or something. But we're going to step over it. Since there's a lot of gravel out here, it makes it possible for me to walk on it. Yeah, even even right here you can see there's water coming down. Operating this gimbal is so weird. I've got it backwards. The see the water coming down, this steady stream of water coming down here. Over time this would become quite large, I think. It wasn't here last time. I wonder exactly where it's coming from. Oh, it looks like they've moved to the, the family grave, too. They have. Amazing. It was right over here temporarily and covered with a blue tarp. But now it looks like they've moved it up here and have a, a more permanent spot for it. So that's nice. Yeah, they've definitely done more stuff out here since I came out here last time. This this opening through here is new. They trenched this out right here. All of this. See all this fresh dirt? <clears throat> this is where they've replaced the, the family grave. I'm very happy to see that it has a has its own perch, own permanent perch spot up there. That's nice. And now we have a better view of the pond. Check it out. We can almost walk over there. Pretty cool. So, come around here, we can see the house. And there it is. There's my kominka right there. With the kura next to it, the guest house kura over to the left. And in the distance, you can see the other akia sitting over there, way over there. And this is the, this is the pond. They've knocked down the grass right here and done some more cutting and cutting down. I don't know why they didn't cut this thing down. This is an old small tree. Uh, it looks like it's going to fall any time. Not sure why they didn't just go ahead and knock it down. But uh, they've got this kind of cleared out here. I want to walk over, but I'm not sure how squishy this ground is going to be. Let's see if I can't test it out. If it's too muddy, I don't have the right shoes to... be walking through it but I'll test it as I go. We'll see. I'd like to get a better view of this pond if possible. We can get a view of my house from right there. That's a that's a good view, right? And from here you can get the view up through where the slide came down through. The slide, the mud slide or the landslide came down from that way and around here and it, it knocked down several trees and then it killed some of the other trees but it looks like a lot of the dead trees out here they've knocked down but there are still some right up here that they have not touched but there is a fence here a metal fence behind my property that runs along the pond here all the way down to here and up to there. If you're wondering why there are cans on the top of the fence, 
these are to make the fence rattle. Uh, so if a, uh, you know, shishi, a wild boar, tries to go through the fence or bumps the fence, these uh, metal cans will, you know, make noise and shake. If the idea is to scare away the the wild boar. And uh, wow, yeah, check this out. Um, this is pretty cool. Uh, I'm trying to keep keep my my one eye on the the video camera and another eye on where I'm stepping. There are a couple of reasons why. One is because of uh, snakes. I definitely don't want to get get bit by a snake. But the other thing is my footing. The ground might be too soft for me to to walk on out here. So just trying to avoid. any issues as I go along, but at the same time, give you the, the best view that we can get of the property here. Yeah, <clears throat> how awesome would it be to get this cut, have all of this grass cut down really nice and just taken care of, have it landscaped. It would be so great, so awesome. But this is the pond that has been overflowing and going into the backyard, which is now diverted around the other side of the property. But check this out. This right here, can you hear? I don't know if you can hear it because of the microphone, but this, this water right here that's steadily streaming down and going into the pond over there, the good thing is that it's not going through here at all. It's all going into the pond. And then that overflow is going down on the other side of the property. So this isn't flowing directly into my backyard anymore. And that's awesome. But I don't know if you can hear it because I'm using the lapel mic. But somewhere up in there, I can hear the water falling down. So there's a strong, steady current of water coming down. And of course, this way is up the mountain of this little mountain. And so we're going to walk up there. We're going to walk up here in just a second. Maybe we can get uh, a view of that. It sounds like it's coming from in the forest, though. I don't think I'm going to be able to get over there. Uh, but anyway. Yep. Wasn't able to come over here last time, so they've cleared it out a little more. Time to come back up here and go up the mountain. Or go up the the road here you can see right down through there whoops there's the van way down there just came from down there just give you kind of a view from where we're at all right continue on up here to the top <clears throat> Yeah, this is still not an easy walk for me, but I think the medicine is helping me out because there is, there has been rather a slight improvement in how I feel and what I'm able to do as far as uh, moving around and walking up hills and getting around, so that's good. There is a, a heavy sound of water coming down over here, and I can't see it. There's no way I can get over there, so that's out of the question. But I do hear more water coming down up here, so let's go take a look. Yeah, they've changed this too. Since the last time I came out, oh yeah, they've changed a lot, and they've they've dumped a bunch of rocks in there too. Okay, so all these logs out here. That they put to the side.
It's yeah, this ground is a little a little muddy, a little squishy. You can see some footprints, I guess, where the workers were out here. Last time, if you remember, I was able to walk all the way up here to the fence. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that now because this is kind of fresh dirt and mud. It's pretty wet. And I don't see a very easy way for me to get over this in the shoes that I have. I might get stuck or get really muddy or fall. So I'm not going to attempt to go up there. But I will say this. It, if you look up here, I don't know if we can zoom in. Okay, there we go. If you look up here, what you can see is they've cut out they cut out some more of this this dirt, and the, the main source of this water is coming down from up there, and it's coming down. You can see how it slants from the it's, there's a slope from the left and from the right. And that water is coming right down through that crease in the middle. And it's coming around this way, down through here. Not really easy for me to cross. But let's take a little bit wider look. This is a medium shot. So you can see how it's just coming down here. running on down hill coming out down there where we were just a moment ago and it's turning instead of going onto my property it's turning and going on into the pond and then the pond overflow is going down on the other side of the property so you can see how they're actually diverting all of this water uh, apparently from what i can hear there's water that's coming directly down through the forest here because I could hear it down there. I can hear the water in there somewhere falling down. So there's there's a, a waterfall, a little waterfall, some kind of little stream coming down the mountain there. And then there's this stream of water coming down here. And they're basically joining together down here at the base and going into the pond. And then from there, they're being channeled out on the other side of the property where we were just at earlier. So uh, that's the setup for right now. So, you know, it's interesting because I was wondering last time if they were going to do more right here. It didn't seem like they had done much because there was a grate down here actually with a pipe and water coming out of that pipe and going into the grate. And then the other end of the pipe was up there. But none of this was here. None of this was here, and I, I thought, it, you know, if it rains really hard and there's tons of water coming down, is that, that pipe and that grate really going to be enough? And apparently that was just temporary, because now they've come back to add all of this. They, they, they added all of this, and it, it appears, if you look closely, I don't know if you can see that or not, they've added some kind of plastic to the bottom of this trench. And then on top of that, they put these big stones. And so that will help keep the erosion to a minimal, it, it seems, so that as the, the rain comes down and the water comes down, uh, it will last for a while. And I guess this is the next step of, what the, of the work that they've done out here. Now, what more they've got in plan, if anything, I, I don't know. But I'm just going to keep coming out and checking it. Every time I come out to my property, I'm going to come check it. And for those of you who are asking, like my friend Koji and a couple of other friends, every time I come out here, you guys ask me if I've seen any bears. I still haven't seen any bears out here. But like I told him, I did get some warnings for this area about black bears being sighted or or the, the black bear's footprints uh, being, being found. And so they say that somewhere back here, beyond, beyond here, up in these mountains, there are some black bears. So just for those of you who don't realize there are bears in Japan or how 
spread out they are because they're not just in one place. Anytime you get out into one of these countryside towns, you are at risk of being around black bear. So just a reminder to be careful. I can't see myself or what you see right now, but I have it on the widescreen shot, so it should be should be getting most of the most of what I'm trying to shoot. So quiet out here. Flow of water, the birds. Dripping of water down through the trees, <coughs> stream running. And here a plane way overhead. The airport is not too far from here. It's roughly a 30, 35 minute drive maybe from here to the airport. It's pretty convenient. Ah, okay. Let's turn this around. Yeah, there we go. Back to the old van. It's so grown up. Look at the road. Can you see what I was talking about? Look how grown up it is down there. Crazy. <laughs> 